Welcome to this episode of Cook and Chat with the Bellas. I am your host, Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funke, the one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! <laughs> If you're a returning subscriber and you're back for more, ain't any bawonio shellwa. Thank you for coming back. Thank you so much. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a special guest on Cook and Chat with the Bellas. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot wait to see this episode. Stay tuned. Stay with me. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, join me as I welcome Chief himself, the Olorioko of the clan himself, the mister that rocks my world himself, the Tunde that makes the Bella himself, MC Tunde Bella, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Tunde Bella to the show tonight. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So ladies and gentlemen, Tunde, my wonderful honey boo boo, my husband, he's going to be cooking today. <laughs> no, you're, which, making, you're making me blush. Which is not something that happens regularly, we must confess. But... We have a treat for you today, and there is a story to this dish. I will be telling you that story in a tick. Stay with us. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to tell you a quick story where this dish, this very special dish came from. So Sunday and I met in Osu. If you are, if you went to Osu, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you went to Osu or OOU, when we started it was Osu. By the time we left, it was OOU. Osu, OOU, same one. Anyway, so if you went to Osu or OOU, leave a comment in the comment section. We should form an association. Let, let us know what campus you were on in Osu. As well. <laughs> anyway, so we met in Osu in 2002. And I remember one of the days when I went to visit Tunde and his sister used to live in a like a twin uh, twin room. His room was like that, and his sister's room was like that. And their room was the first was the first one you on the right as you enter their house. The face me and face your house in Ozu <laughs> then. Anyway, so this day I got there uh, and I saw Tunde's sister and her friend sitting outside. So I said, "Oh, how is Tunde? Is he okay?" He said. Is at the back cooking. Anyway, the the kitchen with the cooking area is right at the back of the house, yeah. And the room is right at the front of the house. And from where we were sitting, right at the front of the house, I could smell this cooking. And I thought to myself, ah, a man that can cook something that I can smell from my degree to Kano. Hmm, if I don't marry this man, something else will happen to me. Anyway, so that was one of the things that Tunde did that I thought, ah complete correct man so i thought okay this is a good 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 option anyway so this dish was the dish that Tunde made on that fateful day so this dish is called white rice with atadidi i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen it's atadidi that's it nothing fancy white rice and atadidi with boiled egg that's all we had on that day. And <laughs> today is going to recreate that experience. So without further ado, I'm going to leave you in the hands of a very capable chef of the day, Chef Tunde Bella. And he's going to talk us through the ingredients that we need for uh, Atadide and white rice. Chef, over to you. So, hi, my name is Tunde Bella. Uh, today I'll be cooking Atadide. Uh, this dish was taught to me by my grandmother, uh, Iyagba. So, if you're a young man or you're married and you want to give your woman a taste of what you cook, they usually say men can cook. Some men can cook. This is very easy. 
all you need this is scotch body pepper this is for the brave <laughs> if you're not brave you can use bell pepper that can serve a, a similar purpose uh this is low cost beans iru so uh that's low cost beans that's iru uh onions uh i use red onions and then uh, this is bleached oil uh palm oil and then a little bit of salt just to let you know everything here is organic no seasoning nothing all organic when you tell your lady you're organic man it strikes a chord in it <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen if you want to see how i cook this amazing dish uh stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned so we are about to make magic <laughs> what i do is i put some palm oil <laughs> palm oil into the pot i'll just put it in here this is onions you realize she said she could hear the smell way before she got into the house this is what does it I forgot to wear an apron when I started <laughs> and this is part of the packaging mm -hmm. you want to look the part okay so uh, this is onions I'm just going to put so this I use for awareness awareness is when you let your neighbors know what you're doing okay The smell travels really, really far, but it's not going to be part of the cooking. It's just there for awareness. So I'll just cover this and increase that. Oh, yeah, let's yeah, leave that do. on. So what I'll do next is to blend the scotch bonnet peppers. Or what did you just call it? Mm -hmm. scotch, scotch bonnet peppers. Rodo. <laughs> My people, rodo. <laughs> and onions okay. i'll just let slice it my man cooks very romantically <laughs> so that goes in oh. <laughs> does it need to be smaller honestly those days i use the most you know the grinding stone that's what I use then, grinding stone. But we're in 2020 yeah. now, nobody has time for grinding stone. We're going to use a mini chopper so, to, to make life easy I'll for ourselves. So I'm gonna help you. Thank you. That's enough, that's enough for now. Okay. And okay. Put, put more of this? No, that's okay. okay. You can see that he doesn't even he doesn't live in this kitchen. But I try, I try. Let's put a little bit more. So we can. I'll just add a bit more. And that. The smell of rodo. Amazing. I'll just slice the last bit here. Just a little bit of effect. Okay, so get a bit more of that in. Looks near enough. By this time, your neighbors will be wondering what is he up to again? And <laughs> look. 
let's cover it a little bit. <laughs> Okay, now it is safe to take out. Sorry. At this time, she has a bit of pity on you if she sees you doing it. Because you can see your eyes, you know, you're really into it. So now it is safe to take out your awareness. You can leave it on the plate. Okay. That was never part of the cooking. It was just to create awareness. So you just there. Uh, get every bit of the awareness out. So, I might not follow all the rules of the chef industry or, I don't know, cooking industry. But trust me, your lady will like you cooking. Okay, okay so, a little stare. Let's get all of the peppers in. So, I think this, it's time to add a bit of iru, locust beans, okay. organic. Okay, this. Just give it a bit of stir and then I add some salt. So this is how I measure my salt. Chef <laughs> today. And a tiny bit more. And that's enough salt for me. So because of us uh, preservation, um, so we used to just cook just what we were enough for you for just one meal or for one day. Because uh, when you leave it for the next day, then you know, there's no, we didn't have electricity at the time, that's steady, so. So that's why we're just cooking this, the size. And so I normally cook this with boiled egg, because it, 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 it goes together for me. Uh, white rice, boiled egg, and my atta didi. Remember, with this kind of atta didi, you can't eat that much because it is very, very, very spicy. So I've added all I need to add. Locust beans, salt. I'll just add a little bit of water and cover it for about two, three minutes. Thank you. It's ready. Oh my gosh. The neighbors are definitely aware something is happening in our house tonight. I know it looks like, oh, you're cooking it. You say the smell is nice. What do you think about yeah. the smell? <laughs> I'm awake. I am certainly awake. So, our after dinner is ready, mm -hmm. 
Our boiled rice is ready. Mm -hmm. Our boiled egg is ready. Sick. And the meal is about to be served. Yes, so stay tuned. So, our dish is served. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to taste it. <laughs> yeah. anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so if there is no video next week, this is why. <laughs> if I eat this thing and I have been in bed for one week, you're all here. You can't see. You. The, the only thing is that it is hot, and by now you can you can handle a bit of hot. Okay. So, at least you handled it that time with love, didn't you? <laughs> with love. Yeah. <laughs> she was sweating. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, my moment of truth. White rice and atadidin with a boiled egg. It's in Libella style. Testing, testing. Mm. It's not even that spicy, but it is. It is spicy. But it is nice. I can taste the eel. It's very nice. Anyway, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you like Tony Bella's cooking, please click the like button. And please leave us a comment so we know you really, really enjoyed this, this uh, video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye.